Who is Papa Legba? Hello, it's your High Priestess, your Sister Witch Kathy, and today I want to talk about Papa Legba. And I got this information from the website exemplar.com and I will have the link in the description box so you can find out more information as well about Papa Legba and take notes okay so we'll get right into it and Papa Legba has his origins with the Fon people of Dahomey which is in Benin Africa and he is said to be the guardian and trickster of the crossroads and entrances. He is one of the most widely served African deities. Now, in Haitian voodoo and New Orleans voodoo, Papa Legba is the in between Loa and humanity. So he is like the medium person. He stands at a spiritual crossroads and grants or de denies permission to speak with the spirits of Guinea and is believed to speak all human languages. He is always the first and last spirit invoked in any ceremony because his permission is needed for any communication between mortals and the Loa. He opens and closes the doorway to the spirit world. Now, when I said Papa Legba is the medium, I actually meant that he is the middle person people usually go to to open the door so that they can have permission to work with other spirits of the crossroads, okay, or of the Loa. And since the crossroads deity, the main one, is known as Papa Legba, and is referred to by several names. He is not the same spirit as many of the other names commonly used and interchangeably to identify him. Now in Brazil, he, the crossroads spirit is known as Hishu. In Trinidad and Cuba, he is known as Ilegua. And in Haiti and New Orleans, he is known as Papa Legba. Now, Papa Legba is the master, the trickster, warrior, and the personal messenger of destiny. He has the power to remove obstacles, and he provides opportunities. All ceremonies begin and end with Papa Legba, and there can be no communication with any of the other Loas without consulting him first, which was what I was saying earlier. His gift for linguistics enables him to translate the request of humans into the languages of the spirits and loas. Papa Legba's colors are red and black and also since he is worshipped in New Orleans these are his colors and some of his favorite things that you can use for offering it will be candy uh, cigars, rum, and tobacco. Lily loves palm oil. Now his number is three and his day of the week is Monday. He is often depicted as an old man with a crooked cane dressed in brown pants and accompanied by a rooster. Now as I was saying before if you want to petition Papa Legba, he is great if you have special problems, when things are getting in your way of progress in life. It is customary to offer things to him as payment for his help, and Papa Legba is known to actually open the doors for many people and help them with hard cases. All right? So, with that being said, this is basically who Papa Legba is. And if you have any comments, please put them in the comment section. If you agree or disagree, all feedback is welcome. I will also have a link, like I said, from where I found this information. And also I will have information about my services, how you can contact me, and if you need anything else from me. And if you would like to 
contact me once again you can contact me at high priestess kathy at yahoo.com or high priestess kathy at gmail.com thank you all for watching comment like and subscribe and don't forget to check the description box below bye bye